everyone, it's Natalie here. So today I will be explaining how the software Lima Guide works. So first of all, to download the software, all you have to do is type in the search bar tool limaguide.net. This will redirect you to the official website of Lima Guide. I'm going to change the language to English. I'm going to scroll down and press on the download button. So now here you will have to fill in the blanks your personal information, your name, your surname, your email, the city and the country you're in. The more accurate you are, the better. Uh, you have to check the sector to which you belong, for example, a dental clinic. Check the box, I'm not a robot, and you, that you have read and accepted the terms and conditions, and you send the request. Once you have Lima Guide downloaded, you double click on the icon and what you can see once you open Lima Guide on the upper and lower part of the screen different functions for example the online training here is to select online courses for example um, about planification about designing surgical splints or designing guides for doing a gingivectomy etc you fill in your personal information and you send the request Another function that we can see here, the on-site training, and these are the in-person courses, for example. Here we can see courses that will take place in Spain, for example, in Valencia on the 8th of July, or in Barcelona on the 22nd of October, or other courses that will take place in Italy. The tutorials, these are many tutorials that we have on our YouTube channel. Any suggestions, news? our Facebook page. On the upper part of the screen, the first three icons are not available yet. Here is to download, uh, to import the DICOM, to import STLs, to open a project that you, add, you have already worked on and saved, to exit Lima Guide, and the support button. If you have any problem regarding the software any function that is not working, you can contact support and usually in 48 hours, they will answer you. So for example, let's start. I'm gonna import a DICOM. Here I have the DICOM. It's very important to know that Lima Guide can only read DICOMs that the DICOM file shouldn't be compressed. Otherwise, Lima Guide will not be able to read it. So here everything inside of the yellow and red box will be read by the software. We press on the OK button. So here we will have four different views. For example, one of them is the 3D reconstruction of the jaw. And usually um, this view depends on the DICOM quality. So let's see a little bit what are the tools that Lima Guide has. On the upper part of the screen, you can see different sections, management, planning, alignment, offset, etc. We're going to talk about each one briefly. The management section uh, is still being developed by our software engineers for the moment. The planning section is to planify dental implants. Uh, we have the implant, the projection of the implant, the abutment, to do a diagnostic wax up. Uh, the pins and the tubes once we design a surgical splint, pencil to mark the nerve, a meter for the for the measuring the distance, etc. The alignment section, we can see, for example, the sphere. Um, I'm going to import an STL and uh, do a quick example. For example, here, if I press on the sphere button, it's to align the DICOM with the STL. I'm going to zoom in, here we go, for example, I'm going to press on the teeth to be able to align them. Here I'm going to place another dot, for example. And we press the next button. 
So here I'm going to have the alignment of our STL with the DICOM. Um, this is for the alignment. Another tool is the LASCO add. This tool is to cut a mesh. The hole, for example, is to fill or close any hole that we have in our models. Extrude is to extrude a model to prepare it to be printed. Drill is to create holes inside the model. Segmentation it is to segment a tooth from the jaw, for example. Here we have the offset section, the prosthesis section. We have also the articulator function, orthodontics. All these uh, tools can be worked on except the aligners. Uh, is not, uh, this tool is not active yet. Um, to, uh, to press on expansers, uh, is if we want to do dig a, a digital expander, uh, the brackets we have, um, the Leonardo option present for now, etc. Uh, to create a digital smile design, Lima staff is not activated yet, and news button is to shop Lima Guide. So uh, we have to know that Lima Guide is a free software to be downloaded. But if you want the annual version of Lima Guide, uh, the annual subscription is 440 euros, and this will allow you to export um, projects that you have already saved or projects from other Lima Guide users. You can export an unlimited amount of projects and share it with other users. You can print as well or mill surgical splints model or prosthesis that you have worked on inside of the software. Also, by, buy by buying the software, you will be able to have access to um, specific tools that are only activated once you buy the annual um, subscription for Lima Guide. For example, in the prosthesis section, the articulator option is only available and active once you, once you shop the license of Lima Guide, the annual license. Or for example, if you would like to import a certain photo of the patient to align it with the jaw, uh, with the STL and with the DICOM, with the CBCT that has already been taken, you need to have uh, the license activated. Lastly, on the top of the screen, what we can see here is the button that says new project, open a project, to save a project, save as. Here is the fourth icon is to import a picture. Here is to import an STL. This one is to export an STL. The undo button is not available yet. So more or less, these are the tools uh, that you can find in Lima Guide. This was a small introduction about the software. And thank you for watching.